So you know when a portable DAC amp company releases a new product, you tend to see press shots that look a bit like this. So you see the product, the DAC amp, in this case we've got a Cord Hugo 2, and it's strapped to a phone, but we only ever see the back, right? In the press shots, they never show you this. Rubber straps across the screen. And this is an old phone, so it doesn't go all the way to the edge. Most modern phones do. This, I'm sorry to say, is but there's more, because if we then connect our lightning to USB adapter, now I know this cable is ridiculously long, but if we hook it in here, We've just got, even if we had a short cable, it would still be this much cable. And then the headphones come out here, and then how do we, how do we put all of this in our pocket? Like, it's just, uh, I'm sorry, it is. Now because the Hugo 2 is battery powered, we could take it to work if we wanted to, or we could use it at home like I have here. I have it set up as a, a what I call a rack DAC. So I've got the USB power connected, then I've got a USB signal coming from an Intel NUC, and then just to show you another way of doing this, I've got my Bluesound Node 2i coax out of that into the coax input of the Hugo 2. And then the Hugo 2's output twin RCAs go out to my amplifier. And if I wanted to listen with headphones, because this Hugo 2 is a headphone amplifier as well, I can just connect a pair of headphones to the headphone socket here. But now we have something new to contend with. Chords new to go, which is a, a streamer, but it's not your usual streamer. So the to-go is a bolt-on, quite literally, network streamer for the Hugo 2. It plays catch on the streams that come over the internet or from a local file server. So in this case, I've got the to-go hooked up via Ethernet, and then it sends those data packets into the Hugo 2, which decodes them and then sends them out to our amplifier. I'm no longer using the Bluesound Node 2i. I'm using the to-go Hugo 2 as a streaming DAC but yes, it sounds considerably better than the Blue Sound. And that's largely because the Hugo 2, I've reviewed this one for my website before, but its strengths are the way it exposes lots of inner detail and lots of inner spaciousness inside music, and it's very good with layer separation. And really, at its price point, the only thing that comes close with those qualities is actually the Chord Cutest, which is slightly better but as we'll see, it can't be run like this, or like the to-go and the Hugo 2. So anyway, in this setup, I've got the Nook still, but it's only serving files to the to-go. It can do that using UPnP, or my favorite, Rune.
So I've now got the Togo and the Hugo 2 bolted together, sat on the arm of my couch. The Togo is also battery powered like the Hugo 2, so rechargeable batteries in here. And I can also configure the Togo to connect to my Wi Fi network. And to do that, we look to Cord's Go Figure app. So we pull up Cord's Go Figure app. And then that's already paired through Bluetooth. So we should be able to connect directly to the to go. So the phone is now talking directly to the to go using Bluetooth. This is how we configure the to go device. Now, some of you smart people out there will have already spotted that the Hugo 2 does Bluetooth and does Aptex Bluetooth. But that is only relevant to Android devices, Aptex. And all Bluetooth, as we've seen in the previous video, is lossy. The to-go allows us to send digital audio streams losslessly, bit perfectly, to the Hugo 2. And we also get proper CD quality support, high-res support. It doesn't do MQA, but it does do DSD, if that's your kind of thing. But the other cool thing is we don't actually have to stream music using UPnP or Rune. If I've got music on this micro SD card, I can insert it into the belly of the to-go. And then I can use any UPnP app to tell to-go to read the contents of the card, send those contents to the Hugo 2 and then out into my headphones. That's pretty damn cool. So this kind of serves as a, a sort of armchair digital audio player as well as an armchair network streamer. Now for gapless playback from the micro SD card, and gapless playback is a big, big issue for me. I can't believe we're having to talk about gapless playback in 2020, but here we are. Anyway, if you want to listen to content from the micro SD card and you want to find the right app that gives you gapless playback, you need something like Glider on iOS and mConnect Lite on Android. So streaming technicalities aside, this is my entire HeadFi system. So network streamer and DAP, reading from a micro SD card on the side, headphones. And I can listen here quite happily on my couch, and I can sit and listen in my kitchen. And here I'm listening to some baby bird in my office. And I can even listen whilst I'm sat on the toilet. Right now I'm playing some new fast automatic daffodils. Would I take this out and about whilst walking around Berlin? Probably not. It does fit in a winter coat pocket comfortably. It's a bit of a squeeze for my jeans pockets, but frankly, in a jeans pocket, it looks ridiculous. Um, I think this is only for really more committed portable or audio enthusiasts. Really, I think for portable use as a DAP and as a, a streamer, the smaller Mojo Poly would be the better choice. This really kind of is a lot more out and about friendly out in the street listening to headphones. So I would say that the, the Hugo 2 to go pairing is transportable, not portable. It's ideal for obviously listening at home as I've shown. I would also use this on a train ride whenever I can next go on a train. I would also use this on a long haul flight. But for me, this is really, shown its worth around the house. I've been using this a lot in the last three weeks that I've had this, maybe four weeks. 
um, just listening, just sat here. And then actually, yeah, I have been sitting in my kitchen. I have been sat in my desk, the toilet. Come on. Do you think I listen to music on the toilet? I'll leave you to kind of work that one out. So really when this is paired with a, a very good pair of headphones or pair of earphones like the Mese Empyrean or the Campfire Audio Solaris, this is a very, very, very high end audio system, a headphone system that's ideal for self isolators. It's ideal for minimalists because it's just this and your transducers. And it's really, and I guess this is the point for today, it's ideal for people who listen and don't want to hear the negative influence of their listening room. I think everybody should really be into headphones, at least for a while, just to hear what you're missing once the room comes into interact with your loudspeakers. That's why I listen to both. So when I'm reviewing things, I always listen through speakers and through headphones so I get a better picture of what's going on. So for me, headphones are absolutely essential. This allows me to listen to music all around the house, no problem. So the Togo Hugo allows us to cut the cord on a high-end listening experience. And I think that is absolutely outstanding. Some of you will want to know how the Togo compares to other network streamers. I think that is really to miss the point of what the Togo can do. However, I will put those additional thoughts on my website, darko.audio, a couple of days after this video first goes live. So please don't forget that I have a website and I do write extra things on there for people who want a nerdier look at um, what's going on here. Anyway. If you like this video, please give us a like. If you like my attitude towards headphone listening, then please subscribe to this channel. And as always, thank you for listening. Ah, oh, and watching. I don't mind having that in there, it's fine. I'm not doing that again. It's a bit of, you know, a bit of, um, what's the word? Real life, Olaf. Remember real life? <laughs> Remember when we had a real life? Oh, before? that's long gone.